Hey guys, my name's Nell. Today we'll be doing an all over body workout on the Reformer. I've been teaching these programs for 15 years and they successfully progress you through the Pilates repertoire. I really hope you enjoy, now let's get started. Grab the tennis ball, put it in between your knees, heels uh, sit bone width apart. We're going into plies in a low lift. So you lift your pelvis and your spine off. There's a gap between your pelvis and your spine about hands thickness. And you maintain that position as you pivot in the hips and the knees. Inhale, press the carriage out. Exhale, return. You're in a neutral pelvis, so your lower back still has a little arch in it. Your glutes and your tummy are supporting the pelvis and that little arch in your lower back. Release the arms, place the pelvis down now onto the toes in parallel. Feet are sit bone width apart, parallel. Lift the pelvis, hover it off, press out and draw in. Inhale, push out, exhale, return. Pelvis and spine in neutral, pivoting in the hips, keeping the pelvis very still, obliques are working. Your pelvis is not tucking or arching up and down. The pelvis is not tucking up and then um, posteriorly tilting or anteriorly tilting. You'll just want to keep it in a neutral position. Now into a V. So feet are in a V, toes on the bar, heels together. Pressing out and in. Squeeze the heels together. Maintain the pelvis and the spine just off the carriage. Really targeting the back of the legs and the glutes. Squeeze the heels together to activate the inside thighs and feel like you're lengthening out away from the hips, lengthening the legs away from the pelvis. Release your arms, lower down. Heels out wide now, so widen your legs out. Lift the pelvis, neutral pelvis, neutral spine, push out and in, out and in. Try and lengthen the thigh bones out of the hips. Keep squeezing the heels in towards one another to activate the inside thighs. Check into your neck and your upper shoulders, make sure that they're, they're not overworking. Reaching the sit bones towards the heels. Release the arms, lower the pelvis down and then toes out wide. Lift the pelvis, lift the spine, pushing out and in. Inhale, exhale. Once again, the movement is not happening in your lower back or your pelvis. The movement is happening in the hip sockets. Keep that sensation of lengthening out of your thighs. Release the arms, lower the pelvis down. Bring your feet together, toes touching, heels ever so slightly apart, build ups. Grip the toes, straighten your legs, lower the heels down. That's your preparation. You lift the heels up and then return back to the stopper. Straighten your legs, lower the heels. That's a prep. Now two rises, bend the knees back in. Straighten the legs, lower the heels. Three rises and then bend the knees and return. Draw the legs together. Four rises and then return back in. Straighten your legs, that's your prep, lower the heels down, five rises. Keep lengthening out away from the hips, reaching out through the crown of the head. Six rises, squeeze the kneecaps up. Feel like you're pressing the legs down towards the floor to activate the hamstrings at the back. Into prances, straighten your legs, bend one knee, lower one heel down, lift and then switch sides. Keep going, really press through the toes, try and lift the heels up as high as you can. Engaging your legs, pressing your heel, and now a little bit faster, pressing through the heel to activate the back of the legs, keep the pelvis very still. Side lie leg plies with the toe in line with your sit bones. So lie side on. Put your arm on the headrest, grab hold of the little rod and then put your top leg in line with your sit bone. You're on the ball of the foot. 
and the ball of the foot is in line with your sit bone. The underneath side of your waist is lifted, so you've got your core engaged. You press out and then you press in. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, return. The bottom leg is hovering up so that you're working the inside thigh. You keep your heel slightly lifted off the bar so you're up on a little semi-rise. The heel is pressing away and then towards the sit bone. The top leg is in parallel, knee straight out in front on a horizontal plane. Pressing through the top arm as well to help you stabilize through your shoulders. Now move that leg forward to the front of the bar. Once again in parallel. So your leg is now in front of you, the top one. The bottom leg is still back in line with your pelvis. Keep the heel slightly lifted. And you're pressing out, think of imprinting your thigh bone into the space behind you, working the hamstring at the back there. You might even want to have a little poke around the hamstring, the buttocks there. Pressing the thigh bone back, the underneath leg is engaged using your inside thigh. Shoulders are stabilized and the waist is lifted. Now in rotation, so you turn the top leg out and you put the heel at the front of the bar where the toe was before. The bottom leg is still parallel. You straighten and then you bend. Breathing out to push out, breathing in to return. Think of drawing the inside thighs together, resisting on the way down, engaging the top thigh to straighten the leg and press through the top hand into the shoulder rest to help you feel length and long, lengthened and long through your torso. Driving the energy through that heel that's on the bar to create that sensation of a, length, a long leg. Now the other side, so you're going to turn around, so you're in the centre of the bed, put your arm on the shoulder rest and then grab hold of the pole or the shoulder rest. Okay, the top leg is in line with your sit bone, so the, the knee is quite bent and then the leg is parallel. The heel is lifted like you're on a high heel and then you press out and then press in. Exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose. The heel is in line with your sit bone. You're thinking of imprinting the thigh into the space behind you, lifting up and out of your pelvis. The underneath side waist is lifted, so you're feeling your core muscles, your oblique muscles engaged. The belly button is zipping up. We do 10 of these. Now the leg forward at the front of the bar. 10 of these, pressing out, pressing in. Breathing out to straighten, in to bend. Keep the heel lifted and still in space. Keep the underneath leg lifted to work the inside thigh. The shoulders are away from the ears. That underneath side, there's a little arch there and the leg is really parallel, kneecap straight out in front out through the mouth, in through the nose. Now heel on the bar in rotation, 10 of these. Breathing out to straighten the leg, breathing in to bend. Think of the inside thighs drawing together from the sit bones through to the back of the legs. Squeezing the top kneecap up. When you straighten the leg, really engaging and zipping the thigh muscles up. Checking in to your neck and your shoulders and make sure you're not lifting them up and using your neck as you push out and in. The hand that's on the shoulder rest is pushing firmly into the shoulder rest to help you stabilize. Now we're going to go into abdominals. Change the spring so it's one and a half springs. So that's one full spring, one half spring. Curl ups with extension. Knees up into tabletop. Breathe out to lift up. Breathing in to return. Ten of these. 
maintaining a neutral pelvis and spine. Pressing the hands into the straps from the abdominals. The legs are in parallel. As you straighten the legs, squeeze the legs together. And the hands hover up just above the hip bones at the side there. Have a little rest. Then we're going into hundreds with bend and stretch. Hands above the shoulder S, lift your knees up into tabletop, legs are together. Lift and extend and then pulse your arms as you bend and straighten the legs. Keeping the feet on the same plane as you push out and in. Trying to get the legs nice and low now as you're progressing. Reaching the calves just up above the bar. But only do that as long as you don't bulge your abdominals. Pressing the armpits towards the hips to help you anchor down through the lats. Breathe into straighten and then return back into the stopper. Have a little rest. The next exercise is coordination. We're doing 10 of these, arms up above the shoulders, knees up into tabletop. Lift up, extend, open and close the legs, bend the knees and return back to the start position. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, open, close, breathe in. Really try and curve the upper body so that you lift your shoulder blades off drawing your ribs towards your hips and opening and closing, keeping pelvic stability. Have a rest. Then we go into Nutcracker. Hands in a diamond, legs are straight up to the ceiling, so index and thumb are touching. Open your legs, reach the hands towards the bar. Ten of these. Three. Four, so your fingers are creating a diamond shape. Five, six, draw the heels together. Seven, zipping the inside thighs together. Eight, breathe out to lift into lower. Nine, last one, ten. Put your feet down, have a rest. Then we're going into reverse single leg stretch. Hands above shoulders. Reach the legs out over the bar, that's the start position. Bend one knee, lower the arms down. Bend one knee, lower the arms down. The challenge here is to hold the legs out straight without arching your upper back, oh sorry, the lower back. We want to maintain a neutral lower back, a neutral pelvis. When you reach the legs out, zip the waist in like you're doing up a tight belt. out through the mouth, in through the nose, and then place the feet down. We're doing a spring change now. Feet in straps, put one and three quarters or one and a half on. Feet in straps, put your feet in the straps. We're gonna do circles. Three variations in one direction and then three variations in the other direction. Put your feet in the straps. We're going to start with circles parallel. The legs are straight, parallel and up to start. Open the legs out, draw them down and together. Five in this direction, parallel. Focusing on keeping the thigh bones really parallel. Inside thighs are working. Only lower the legs down within a range that your tummy doesn't puff out. It's a pelvic stability challenge. Then we turn the legs out, same direction. Open them and then circle them around in that direction, but the legs are turned out, so the heels will draw towards one another. Now we're working on keeping the glutes, the deep external hip rotators engaged, maintaining pelvic stability, using the back of the legs, not your lower back. And then internal rotation, same direction. Open the legs, draw them down. The legs are pigeon-toed, so your toes are in, your heels are out. The legs are internally rotated like your kneecaps are drawing in towards one another. Five in that direction. Pelvic stability, once again, is the aim. And then we reverse the circles, so parallel again. So now lower them first and then around. Lower them down and around parallel. 
inside thighs, back of legs. Don't use your lower back, use your tummy and the back of the legs instead. Five of those and then turn the legs out and then do it in that direction. So the legs lower down, circle them, heels together, toes are apart. Even here at the top there, really working those deep hip thigh rotators. And then after five of those, then we do same direction of the circle, but internally rotate. So the legs go down, out and around and up. They're pigeon toed, toes together, heels apart. Almost like you're drawing your thigh bones in towards one another, your knees in towards one another. Pelvic stability, five of those. Frogs. Bend one knee, open the other leg out. Bend one knee, open the leg out. The challenge here is to keep the pelvis very still as you open the leg out to the side. The control leg is the leg that bends. You want to keep that heel in line with your pubic bone as you bend it. Similar to the normal frogs that we do in the previous workouts. This is all about pelvic stability. Do not let your hips swing with the leg. Big frogs, bend the knees, open the legs, pause and then draw them together. We'll do about four in one day, wave, four in the other. Open and then draw them together. Bend the knees, now keep the carriage still as you open the legs, pause for a breath and then press from the sit bones to the heels. One more, opening up and then drawing the legs together. Reverse it, straighten the legs, open your legs out, pause for a breath, keep the carriage still as you bend and return. Straighten the legs, open them, pause and then keep the carriage still. Breathe out, in, out, in. So about four to five of these in each direction. Maybe check the program here, see what's next. Low openings. Lower the legs down, open them out, draw them together. Six of these, inhale open, exhale return. Keep the pelvis in neutral and still, open the legs and then press from the sit bones, work the inside thighs. Beautiful stretch through the legs whilst lengthening through the torso. High openings, lift the legs up. Now this time keep the carriage still. Open and close. We'll do 10 of those. Put your hands on the straps, resist and then resist. Pressing in as you open the legs, press the hands out as you draw them together to create this resistance. The challenge here is to keep the carriage still. Work in the back of the legs to keep the carriage still. The springs will want to pull the carriage into the stopper you're meeting the resistance of the springs by pressing the feet into the straps consistently. Working the outside and the inside of the hips. So inhale, open. Exhale, draw them together and then place your hands on the straps. Have a stretch. Inhale, lower ribs, mid ribs, upper ribs. Exhale, ever so slightly push your feet into the straps and towards the bar to activate the legs without moving the carriage. Inhale, feel the expansion of the lungs, pressing against the inside of the rib cage, lifting you up and out of your pelvis. And then exhale, feeling the release as you relax. Draw the bed, the legs back in. We're going to short spine, put the headrest down, start in frog. Straighten the legs one, draw the legs over two, bed into the stopper. Roll up through your spine three, keep your neck still here. Turn the legs out, bend your knees towards your ears, roll the pelvis away from your heels and then return back to the start position. We're doing six of these. Keep the bed into the stopper as you roll up, press your arms down using your core and the back of the legs. 
bend your knees in towards the shoulder rests, roll your pelvis away from your heels and then when you can't roll anymore, draw the heels down to your seat. Straighten the legs. Keep the legs pressing together. All the way into the stopper, you've got to use your thighs and your tummy there. Breathing into your spine, opening up your spine as you roll through your spine. Squeeze the legs together. Use your thighs and your tummy to draw the bed into the stopper. Once you hear it clunk, you tuck your tail up, roll up. Turn the legs out, keep reaching through the legs. Move the pelvis away from your feet, then your feet towards your pelvis. Hollow out the belly, don't let the belly bulge. Muscles draw the bed into the stopper. Muscles in the legs reach out through your inside thighs. Roll the hips away from the feet and then the feet towards your hips. Squeeze the kneecaps up. Keep squeezing the kneecaps up, the thighs up. Tuck your tail up, 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 up. Reach out through your legs. And then curve and roll open the spine. Take your feet out of the straps. I've got one spring on. You're kneeling with your knees against the shoulder rests. Kneeling up, kneeling arms, grab hold of the straps, put your hands through the straps and then grab hold. And we're doing chest expansion with looks. Arms by your side, look to the right, to the left, return with control and then look to the left and the right. So you're alternating which side you return to. Focus on the mid back muscles, drawing your shoulder blades together. And then the little head look is like you're trying to rotate your head with as much ease in the neck and the throat as possible. The focus is drawing the scapula, the shoulder blades together. Keep lifting up and out of the pelvis, the hamstrings, the buttocks are engaged. The pubic bone is zipping up towards your belly button to help you lift up and out of the hips. Biceps in a hinge, arms out and then hinging back. Try and keep the arm bone as still as possible. So you keep the arm bone parallel to the floor and then you're moving your forearms. I look down towards my pubic bone every now and again to make me connect to my core a little better, really tucking the pubic bone towards your face so that you're not arching from the spine. You're hinging from the knees strengthening and lengthening your thigh muscles up to 10 of those and then we go into triceps on the heels up to 10 of these straighten and bend the elbows keeping the elbows in by your side the scapula are stabilized so nip the scapula in towards a v and then moving the arms back and forth within a range that you can keep the scapula flat and still against the back of the shoulder the rib cage rather Draw the bend in at the stopper and then we turn around and we do triceps sitting on the heels. So you put the straps down for safety and then you set your feet up, grab one strap, grab the other. Now pull your arms in front of you, keep them in front of you, then kneel up. Hug a tree, up to six to ten of these. Elbows are softly bent. Our target area is the chest and the front of the arms. The challenge is to not hunch the shoulders up. So think of reaching the armpits in the direction that the armpits are facing. That'll help you stabilise your scapula that are in a slight rotation there. Push-ups, hands in by your side, you're pressing away and then return. The elbows are about 15 to 30 centimetres out from the ribs and then the hands go straight forward and straight in like you're pushing a wall. Lift up and out of your pelvis, check into your pelvic alignment and your spine. Salute. Hands to forehead, reach up and then to the forehead. Reach up to the temples. The hands go wider than the shoulders and then to the temples. The challenge here is to keep the collarbones away from your ears. Think of laterally rotating the shoulder blades to help stabilize your shoulders. 
If I was to poke around your belly button, firm and lifted there. So how did you go? I really hope you enjoyed that workout. I'm looking forward to taking you through my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date and get notified when it's released. If you did enjoy the workout, tapping the like button is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and remember, movement is medicine.